Jeff's Superscript is brought to you by Black Cat Comics and Collectibles. In my opinion, the best comic shop and clubhouse on the internet. Follow them at Black Cat Burbank on Instagram and join their claim sales on Tuesdays for new books and Fridays for back issues. And don't forget to ask about joining their Stray Cats Club for special perks. Hi, I'm Jeff, and welcome to another one of my videos. Today we are going to be doing another mail call unboxing. In these boxes, I have some raw comic books, specifically some store exclusives from three different stores. Store exclusives have become a little bit of a weakness of mine these days. They can be the best thing and they can be the worst thing. Um, but I like these books that I got here. I'm happy with them and I'm happy to share them with you today. I'm gonna open these boxes up. I'm gonna show you what I got. I'm gonna tell you what they are. And then I'm gonna go over a little bit of the sales data that is out there about them and let you know how I did. Because sometimes with store exclusives, you can do real good. And then also sometimes you can do real bad. So let's see if I did real good or if I did real bad. Let's go ahead and start off with this top one. This is from Izzy's Comics and Collectibles. Uh, this shipment has three different books inside of it. I purchased this as part of a bundle. They had individual prices for these books and then they had the bundle price. Basically, it was buy two, get one free. And I decided, well, I'm actually reading all three of these books right now. So let me go ahead and get the bundle, even though I was basically just going after one of the books. And I'll get into the detail about what that one book is first, or in a moment. The first book I want to show you here from this collection is Crossover number five. Uh, let me tell you who the artist is here. Let me check my note. The artist here is Vincenzo Riccardi. Crossover number five. This is a limited edition of 500. In fact, this certificate of authenticity on the back here tells me that I have issue number 314 of 500. I'm gonna put the picture up right here. There is a lot going on on this cover, so I'll give you a chance to take a better look at it. The three artists in this collection who did these covers, I believe are all members of the Kubert School of, of art for comic books. And they kind of worked out a special deal with Izzy's Comics and Collectibles uh, to do these covers. This is actually a really cool cover. Uh, and I like it a lot. I think it's pretty cool. I've been reading Crossover. I've been enjoying Crossover. There is nothing particularly key about this issue of Crossover. But what I will say is that this book, uh, recent sales on eBay have it selling at for at least $33, that's with shipping included. So considering I paid about, let's see. So I paid for these, I paid $30 plus shipping for all three books. They were listed at $15 a piece. I basically got them at $10 a piece. So, um, so for $10 plus shipping now selling for $33, I'd say I did pretty good on this book. Not too shabby. The next book I want to show you from this shipment is, um, is uh, let's see here. It is Haha ha, number three. This is uh, art done by Javier Fernandez Cover. I'll also put the image right over here for you to check out. I also really like this cover. This looks like a cover that might have been more appropriate for issue number one than for issue number three. But I gotta say, I really liked issue number three. It was about a mime and there was basically no text dialogue in it. It was a really cool issue. Now this is not the mime character, but I really do like this cover. Uh, this book has sold for a minimum recently on eBay of um, $19.50 plus $5 shipping. So let's say $24.50. That is actually not too bad at all. 
the uh, the listing on eBay currently for a buy it now sale that's available on eBay right now. The lowest price available on eBay right now is twenty four dollars and ninety nine cents. So for a book that I spent ten dollars on, the fact that it's now selling for around twenty five dollars. That is not too bad there either. So, so far, both of these books have increased and in value, and that's a good thing. This last one is basically the reason um, why I purchased this collection. It was for this book, and it is for uh, the Department of Truth number seven. Uh, this is art done by Gerald. Perel cover. Oh, there's two. Oh, excuse me. The name is not cover. The last person was just Javier Fernandez. This person is Gerald Perel. Um, and I'm a big fan of the Department of Truth. This issue of the Department of Truth was really, really good. It had nothing to do with September 11th at all. It had to do with aliens. But this is a really cool cover. This cover is actually an homage to this movie poster for breakfast at Tiffany's. Um, so this is kind of a neat thing. It's got this, this book has this um, kind of like wrinkled texture to it. I guess maybe it's meant to look like a worn movie poster or something like that. I imagine the folks at CGC are going to have a lot of fun with that uh, when and if I decide to submit it. But it is a cool cover. I, you know, the, the September 11th thing aside, the Breakfast at Tiffany homage aside, I like this cover and I really like this title. So I went ahead and picked it up. In fact, picking up all three of these books was something I was like, no, nah, I don't think I'm going to do it. I'll do it. No, I don't think I'm going to do it. Maybe I should do it. No, I'm not going to do it. All right, I'm, I just did it. It's done. Um, but this book is actually doing quite well. Um, the cheapest sale for it recently on eBay is at $39.99 plus $6 shipping. So this is going for about $46. Uh, that is really, really good for, once again, a book that I spent uh, $10 for. And the cheapest listing for it on eBay currently is at $44.99. So it's safe to kind of assume that this book right now is worth about $45. Dollars. That's not too bad at all. So I think I did good on these three. And once again, they all have certificates of authenticity to them. They are all numbered 314 and they are all limited editions of 500. All right, let's go ahead and dig into these next two boxes. Now you are going to notice these next two boxes are extremely similar. Um, in fact, they are the same cover represented in two different ways by two different retailers. This first one is from Scott's Collectibles. Uh, now, if you've been watching my videos, you know that I am a fan of the products that come from Scott's Collectibles. I've been buying a decent amount of their stuff and I will continue to buy a decent amount of their stuff. But let me go ahead and pop this open and show you what this is. There's a piece of tape there I'm gonna have to get rid of. There you go. There it is. I'm gonna take it out very carefully. These, uh, these Comic Shield boxes are a little nerve wracking because I don't wanna put too much stress on the comic book, but ah, okay, I got it. Okay, this book here may look familiar to some of you, but this book is the Department of Truth number one, the fourth print. Now this is art done by Peach Momoko. Now a little bit of a backstory on this. Um, Peach Momoko did this cover for Department of Truth number one. Uh, she, it came out from Scott's Collectibles. Scott's Collectibles put out three different versions of this book. There was one that looked like this, that was the virgin version. There was a sketch version. And then there, the, okay, so excuse me, let me back up here just for one moment. There were 400 of the virgin versions. There were 250 
of the sketch versions. And then finally, there was the um, foil trade dress version that there was only 100 of. That book is one of the most valuable Something is Killing the Children books in existence. It's kind of on par with the Something is Killing the Children number one, excuse me, not some, did I say Something is Killing the Children? Department of Truth. It's the, the, it's the most valuable Department of Truth book. It's on par with Department of Truth issue number one, the one in 100. So you kind of gives you a sense of, of its value. They both go graded for at a nine eight for like a thousand dollars a piece. Anyways, this book is not, none of those three books. This is a, once again, a Department of Truth issue number one, fourth print. Now what makes this one different than the first print version that looks exactly like this is in this one, her dress is in foil. So she has, she has a foil dress. So it's got a nice little shiny dress to it. And I gotta tell you something, it looks really good. And this is a really fun book. You know, uh, Peach Momoko, it's really great how the light hits the foil and kind of almost gives it a three-dimensional quality. Peach Momoko is a hit and miss artist uh, as far as I'm concerned. But I gotta say that with the, this art for this book, that was a hit. I think she did a really good job with this art of the lady in red. Let's take a look at what this book is valued at right now. The lowest price, the most recent sales um, range anywhere from like $100 to, you know, $112.50. So let's just go ahead and say that this book is probably worth right now about $100. I spent $40 plus shipping. So I think I spent on this book something like $48, $49. So it's about twice as much, about $50 more valuable than what I paid for it already. That's pretty great. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna send this to uh, CGC and hopefully get a 9.8 out of it and it'll be worth even more if that's the case. In addition, I just wanna mention that as far as um, buy it now sales available on eBay right now, the least expensive one is going for $109.95. So it's pretty easy to say that this is currently worth raw anywhere between about 100 to $110. This is a nice one. I'm really happy to have it. Ideally, I would love to pick up um, the first print collection of this, but like I mentioned before, they are really expensive. They shot up in value significantly. Each one is really valuable, but once again, the foil trade dress version is the most valuable. All right, let's go ahead and open up this last packet. And I mentioned before that uh, the last two, that this one uh, in my hands and this one that I just opened have a lot in common, and it is true. They have a whole lot in common, but they're also very different as well. This is from a, um, a new retailer called uh, ECGCE. ECGCE is running a bunch of Facebook groups that I am part of right now. If you saw the... Um, the, the video I did about the Something is Killing the Children number 15 that I got with this, I think it was 15 or 14, I forget the number, but it was uh, when I got the, um, the store exclusive, the group exclusive, the Facebook group exclusive, um, this is that same seller. Like I said, this guy's running a lot of Facebook groups and he's trying to build into his own right. And so far he's doing a really good job. Um, he seems to be a good guy and he's providing good products. Uh, this book was well packaged, so I'll tell you a little bit more about this. This book was also $40. Uh, shipping was a little bit more expensive on this book than it was uh, for the other Department of Truth one, this one right here, this other Momoko. Uh, the shipping for this one was like $13, and I almost paused uh, and almost didn't buy this when I saw that, but I went ahead and pulled the trigger on that. Something I also forgot to mention, this book sold out in less than a minute. 
This book sold out in less than 30 seconds. Um, here's a hot little tip for you if you're going to be buying, you know, hot books on uh, store exclusives online, make sure that you have a, an account set up and that they have your credit card information so that you can basically check out in, you know, five clicks or less that you can basically check out in 30 seconds or less from the time it goes on sale uh, because sometimes these things sell out, like I said, in less than a minute and this one in about 30 seconds. This guy packed this up pretty good. I give him a lot of credit about that. Uh, let me go ahead and take it out and show you what I got. This book, once again, is The Department of Truth Issue number one, fourth print, art done by Peach Momoko, but this is a gold foil version. This is pretty amazing. This was done as a collaboration with Scott's Collectibles, um, because Scott's basically owns the, the rights to use this image. ECGCE figured out a way to work it out so that they could offer this image in this way uh, to, um, to people like me. Uh, let me take a good look at this. That is, that is amazing. This gold foil cover is, is gorgeous. These foils, wow, this is really, really cool. This solid gold foil there looks beautiful. This is uh, a numbered certificate of authenticity. I got number 290 out of 400. The certificate of authenticity is also in gold foil. Uh, so 290 out of 400, that's fine. Um, let's go ahead and talk about this book right now from a value standpoint. Um, I found, I was having a difficult time finding um, sales data on this on eBay. There have been a lot of these sold on eBay. There have been very few of these sold on eBay. I found two sold listings. Each one was for around $169. $169.69 $169 and $99.99. So it is safe to say that this book, oh, the other one is the first one was plus $9 shipping. So it's safe to say that this book is worth currently and is selling for $170. Once again, I spend about $53.50 after shipping costs on this book. So I've basically tripled my money on the value of this book. In fact, as far as available sales on eBay are concerned, the lowest price ones I'm looking at here are $168 plus $8 shipping. Here's a $165 with free shipping. Here's $167.99 with $4.99 shipping. So to say that this is worth at least $165 is no big stretch. This is amazing. This is the fourth print of Department of Truth 1. But because of this uh, beautiful art by Peach Momoko and this amazing presentation in this gold foil, these books, especially these two books in particular, have really shot up in value since I purchased them. I gotta tell you, a lot of times, you know, you gotta buy these store exclusives because you love the art, because you want it to be part of your collection. You can get burned on these. They are not cheap. I mean, $50 basically each for each one. If they tank in value, you better love it because it costs you a decent amount of money. But every so often, you do pretty well, like I feel I've done with these two books here. This one being worth anywhere from about $100 to $110, and this one being worth about $165. I think I did okay. If you think I did okay as well, let me know down in the comments. Or if you think, man, store exclusives, they're way too dangerous. I don't want anything to do with them. Let me know 
that down in the comments as well. Let me know your thoughts about these books, if you like them, if you dislike them, if you like store exclusives, if you dislike this store exclusives. I'd be interested to hear what you have to say about all of that. Also, if you enjoyed this unboxing video and the information that I present along with it, likes are very much appreciated by me from you. Thank you if you've taken the time to hit the like button. And finally, if this is the first one of my videos that you're watching, welcome to my channel. I so appreciate you watching this video all the way here to the end. I invite you to hit the subscribe guy right here and make sure you hit the notification bell so you're informed about random videos like this one that I put out from time to time. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.